Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your August 2019 general reading. It is a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Aries, but if it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Okay, so let's get into this. I pull past, present, future, general, and then we'll go into a love spread. Um, let's see what's going on. In the past, the Aries was the Wheel of Fortune and the King of Cups. And the present is the Lovers. Okay. The future, Eight of Cups. Okay. In the past, you may have let something go. Or you just let destiny happen in regards to maybe an ending or even a combination of you know just good good vibrations here with a king of cups cancer pisces scorpio someone who showed a lot of love and affection to you but there has there have been ups and downs in this connection the good and the bad In the past, it just could have been good and bad in this in this connection. This is also a king. Sometimes you can't read them emotionally. There's also a, a king who keeps exes around, like you know, just to you know, hey, send a text message and say, "Girl, you know, I was thinking about you." Nothing really all together transpires all the time, but this is a king who likes. The, the ego fed, the emotional ego fed, to know that he's still loved or liked um, in different relationships and different with different people, different people he, he's had relationship with. Um, definitely masculine energy because it's 10 here with the Wheel of Fortune. Someone who's worried about their reputation. Uh, that really asserted their masculinity um, in the past maybe even you thought you were, you were going to establish some long term relationship or goals with this person we'll pull another card this could be what you did do or what you thought you would do the overall energy at the bottom of the deck is justice so this says that a debt repaid or good advice given. Someone feels indebted to you. They want to right the wrong. They want to clean their slate with you. They want forgiveness. They want to apologize maybe even. In the present, you're the lovers. So you have a decision to make. Excuse me, a choice. I have a choice to make. You may have someone or, or, or someone has a choice to make about you, but there's like a, a choice in regards to what you want and what you need. Who's good for you? Who's not good for you? This could also be spirit bringing two people back together. And they, it, the choice is theirs for the taking. What will you do now? You know, um, are you going to actually come together in a real relationship with real um, standards and real title? Or will you just cultivate what you've always done? It's up to you. Free will. Spirit is and the doing and the bringing the back together but not in what happens after so we do have a choice here a choice a choice of love most times also could be you have to choose like career and love or career and what you love uh for some of you because this can this doesn't necessarily have to be a relationship In the near future, we have the Eight of Cups. So we have a 
I don't feel like this is the Aries. I, I just don't. We have someone abandoning ship, changing their mind in regards to a shared dynamic, shared resources, home, existence, living together, uh, loans, money, the other person's money, mystery. Somebody is leaving because someone feels as if they'll never get to the Ten of Cups with a particular situation or person. Someone's having enough strength to walk away. Someone's having enough strength to put themselves first, to assert themselves. Someone's having enough strength to uh, communicate about the trouble or the jealousy in a particular relationship or the trouble or jealousy in a business, in a work setting, in whatever relationship. Someone's having the strength to um, come out of feeling stuck, tied to. Someone could be moving also. Someone could have visitors in their home or you are a visitor in a home, you're moving. You feel like you need to get your own space, own place. Let's clarify the past, the Wheel of Fortune and the King of Cups. Somebody just kind of like relinquished fighting for a particular person and said, I'm just going to let destiny take its course with a, a particular person, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What is the Will of Fortune and the King of Cups? Yeah, Ten of Wands. Yeah, you kind of just stop fighting for it. Stop carrying this burden. You felt like it couldn't grow beyond whatever it was. And it might have been something that didn't have a lot of title. Something that didn't have status. It was just, you know, whatever. This wasn't on your terms. And that's why you relinquished it. You just said, I'm, you know, I can't deal with this anymore. It was, it was a, kind of like an uphill battle. When you thought you were on the right foot with this person, something or someone else popped up, right? Um, let's see. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you decided to just stop putting work, energy, effort into this because you just kind of felt like you were throwing it away. You were never going to get to the ten of pentacles with this person making any long term any concrete any solid any any real goals with this person goals cannot be fulfilled here you were the one that was doing the sharing the caring even maybe even giving money you, you kind of put that down you were the one doing all the work Someone was just receiving. There's a lot of sex. There's a level of intimacy here. But no real commitment. Okay, and then the present we have the lovers. What is this choice about for, for the Aries? Okay, Seven of Wands. Um... Hmm. Some of you are trying to figure out why somebody is back. why is this coming back around or why can't you release this or why can't you release them from your mind 
you try to block them psychically, energetically. Because you feel like they have to offer more of the same. More of drama and confusion and more of a three of cups. But they might just want to want to talk to you and try to or you or you them this could be vice versa some kind of enlightenment and spiritual awareness and, and awakeness that they have to you and what you were for them and what you can be for them they might even want to offer an apology because where they are there may be discontentment or boredom. Another water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio could be an Aquarius. Could be anyone. Um, this person is feeling as if Yeah. It's gonna be a cancer. Um This person can't get you off of their mind. They think about you constantly, day and night. They dream about you. They feel like they're on the right path with you. They're not sure how accepting you are to them coming back around. They're trying to energetically and psychically figure you out. It's almost as if you guys have whole conversations with each other without being with each other. Mm. The Wheel of Fortune and the Five of Cups. This is a person feeling like they missed an opportunity. This also is a person who feels like they chose incorrectly. This is a person who's hesitating before making an actual decision to course correct. This is a person who maybe even had you in a love affair. Uh, there was drama. There was childish games being played. Uh, there was a lot of romance. Um, but that's about all you got. This person may even want some of that back. Or they, they miss that. They miss it. Okay. In the near future, we have the Eight of Cups. I don't know who's abandoning ship here. You or this person, a lot of water. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Mm. Let's see. Eight of Cups in the near future. Page of Swords. The Chariot. The Tower. Four of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, the High Priestess under the deck. a person who walked away from you. You know, they, they want to resurface. They want to come back. Or this might be a person who's walking away from whatever that they, they're in. They're trying to gain some information about where you are. How you feel. What you, you know, how you feel about them resurfacing. There might be some control. This person wants to move forward. They feel like this is a beneficial change with them walking away from having the strength to.
this might be a person leaving a family dynamic if they're or they're leaving home this is somebody putting themselves first they may be um not giving any more money to the situation any more energy or effort time to it this is a person who's trying to tear down their own foundation that they they built up for themselves because they, this is like a masculine energy too This is someone walking away because they feel like they can't achieve long-term goals or any longevity where they are. And they're trying to resurface maybe to the woman. This is womanly, feminine energy. The woman that is doing nothing, the high priestess, to be with them, to contact them. Like there's no contact. There's no... This woman is doing nothing. She just sits and waits. She already knows. Like I said, some of you know that something is falling down in somebody else's life. Or falling apart. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is somebody who's having the strength to walk away from. Put themselves first. They're tearing down their own foundation that they built up for themselves here. Because they feel as if the Ten of Pentacles is elsewhere. It's not with whomever they're with. You could be dealing with a Piscean person, Aquarius, I mean, anybody. Um, let's see. Let's do a love spread. Did we do love? Getting late. What do we have to say for, for love in regards to Aries? I mean, this could be career and finance, but it really looks like love. Let's say advice. Love for the Aries. in a family dynamic in a family setting and but they're emotionally confused about what choice they make or where they go or what do they what do they do if someone's trying to have them you know in, emotionally stagnant about making a, a decision so they've kind of dropped it for now but they also aren't giving any emotion to this relationship Someone also could be trying to get out of the house, could trying to move. Yeah. There's somebody, Queen of Swords in reverse, who is grade A bitch. Like she is just somebody found out that somebody's cheating. Or they already knew. There's no peace in a home setting. Six of Swords in reverse. There's no peace. There's no... Someone feels like there's no... A Queen of Swords is useful or useless. There's no sense of usefulness with this person. Queen of Cups. Someone wants to reignite. Wow. Someone wants to take the leap of faith with the Queen of Cups. I'm very emotionally stable. Not taking on all the energy that is being bombarded toward her. Nine of Cups in reverse, but it feels like... Ten of Wands. So 
someone wants to come out of separation they won't wish fulfillment now but it's, it's stalled it's stagnant someone wants someone to let the guard down and release the past forgive yeah, somebody wants to give communication about good news like they're going in a new direction Aries um, I think yeah four pentacles in reverse somebody is coming out of family roots foundation the, the foundation is cracked somebody also wants to tear down their own foundation so what you're dealing with is done with a particular situation it could be a Libra person it could be anybody this is just absolutely nuts okay what should the Aries be focused on moving forward heavenly signs grief work courage realizations and epiphanies and retirement so in moving at the bottom of the deck so some of you could be actually retiring or you're going into a new sector of or line of work like you may be retiring how you earn your income going into a new career or you could be working less hours um, but making the same amount of money you're retiring an old way of of making money of earned income realizations and epiphanies like I said like somebody tr tries to communicate with you psychically and intuitively you kind of try to block it out you guys sometimes have like whole conversations with each other but not you guys are not even in contact or not even in the same room yeah courage I think you have to have the courage to forgive this person has been a two. they took you through the ringer here they played a lot of games I think the Aries has removed themselves from this situation um, this other person could be going through a lot the Aries could work in some type of medical grief work type of position maybe the substance abuse um, or you could be going for that there's some social work here or you something about helping others or giving your energy because we come up this queen of cups get advice but not taking on the energy of others heavenly signs are showing you that secret synchronicities and stuff just coming together is really showing you that maybe you're on the right path that maybe um, things are working out in your favor things are, are, are moving moving along some of you could be actually moving you know a physical move or just like I'm moving away from negativity drama drugs alcohol sex I don't know um, Aries lots to focus on I want to really drill down on this person I don't feel like this is Aries who's like coming out of a marriage or commitment who is this person to Aries and what do they have to offer Here, let's go to the website and talk about. Oh, yeah, yeah, 
Aquarius, let's talk about what they have to offer you right now. This is not a forever situation, but just what they have to offer now, okay? All right, so Aries, meet me on the other side. It's always $2.25 to um, get the extended reading. The link will be below. Thank you. Take care, guys.